three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. Well, the weather has certainly cooperated. It's a perfect day for football here at Goodison Park on Merseyside. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Everton taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Michael Keane plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. Abdoulaye Ducouré plays with André Gomes in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And so the match is underway. Ducouré. And he takes on the shot. Huge block. Really clever pressing. Well, Chelsea deserved all the plaudits they got for their win against Manchester United. How about this time, Stuart? Well, that result away from home shows just how well they played. I think they have to be favourites for the three points again today. They have far too much quality in their squad. The concession of a corner here. Well, he's frustrated, of course, but he knows they're now making chances. And he's fired over the corner. Not out of the woods yet. Well, no way through in the end. Well, if Everton carry on like this, it's only a matter of time before they get the opening goal. Well, playing away from the friendly confines of Stamford Bridge hasn't bothered Chelsea in the slightest. Just look at their record, Stuart. Well, seven wins from seven games shows how they approach games away from home. They're compact when they haven't got the ball and they break so quickly in transition. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Could go ahead. And he read it really well. Fine save. And there's the delivery. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. And Everton unable to retain possession. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Andre Gomes. 
And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Gallagher. Connor Gallagher. James over the touchline for what will be an Everton throw and there to intervene he's in with a chance and a goal it is but offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. What can Chelsea do from this position? Might lead to a chance. Can he find the angle? Magnificent challenge to win it back. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, they need to get bodies back. Oh, in with a chance! And the keeper to the rescue! Well, he takes some beating, that's for sure. It really is a top-class save. He's driven in the corner. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Chilwell. Thiago Silva. Conor Gallagher. Thiago Silva not given a moment's peace. Broya. Well, it's a pretty low line at the moment. Sterling. Well, moving the ball impressively here. But then the one that goes astray. Deli Alley. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, a very easy offside decision to make. Palmer with it. Connor Gallagher. Noni Madueke. He must finish. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, he knows it. That was the opportunity to draw level there. Who can they pick out? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Getting forward. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Bodies forward, and the break looks on.
Palmer with it. On to James. Good visualisation and execution. Take it away. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. James. Connor Gallagher. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And support available. He's got to score! Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Everton pushing to add to their advantage from this corner. Now, sending it in. And the problem not completely solved. McNeil. Really good build-up, but no end product. And there it is, the half-time whistle, and Chelsea know they've got one or two problems to solve. Very proud of their fine away record in the league, but trailing. Well, away from home, they usually play with such control, but that's not been the case in the first 45 minutes. I still think a little tweak in the tactics, they'll turn this around, but they do need to score the next goal. Well, the action underway again. Chelsea trailing going into the second half. Can they come up with the right response? This looks promising from Everton. Oh, fancy footwork. And whipped into the box. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Chilwell. Moises Caicedo. Sterling has it. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Well, just a rebuke rather than a caution, Stuart. Well, it's not a bad tackle, and the referee's got that right. Nkunku. Now with James. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Now can they counter clinically? Need to get back quickly here. Oh, good-looking cross. Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack, but no reward for them. Yeah, it was all good until the final effort. It just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Sterling. Well, someone has scored in the United game. Let's find out precisely who. Alex Scott has the news. It's a goal for Bournemouth. They're the first on the score sheet here with 54 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Magnificent defending. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Everton facing Burnley. Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. Well, he could have put it away again, but credit to the goalkeeper. Well, the way he's playing, he's surely going to get his second goal soon here. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. James Garner. 
Shaping to shoot. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, another wonderful save to add to his portfolio. Palmer with it. This is Thiago Silva. Sterling. Alex Scott has an update for us. Breaking developments at Villa Park, Alex. It's a goal for Villa. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 60 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. And the defensive intervention there. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Chelsea facing Sheffield United. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Gallagher. Now, options are plenty. Well, disappointing end to the move. And into the last 20 minutes. Could be dangerous. No way through. Fernandez. He continues his run. Still looking for space. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely. Absolutely right. Well, they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Connor Gallagher. Beto. It's with Ducure. McNeil. Not well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Just 10 minutes remaining here. James Garner. McNeil. And it's played into the centre. Keeper did his job to begin with. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates, but what a first save that was. Nkunku. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. A glorious chance. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So back underway following the equaliser. Ducure. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Can they forge ahead? No! 
And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. And knocked out of there. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Nkunku. Determined defending. Covert Lewin. Godfrey. And that will be all, a point apiece, a share of the spoils. Let's talk about the Chelsea angle and all of this. Well, Derek, I think you have to say it's a point game, don't you? Far from the easiest game, but they kept fighting until the very end, believing that they would get another chance, and it's probably the fair result in the end. Tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class saver. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they forge ahead? 